Well, they, they initially told us in a group. So there were 10 finalists and eight didn't win and two did. So they informed us pretty short and sweet who won. Then the others exited. And then uh, Daryl, a really wonderful young man from, from Harvard, he was the other winner. And they took he and, he and I into a separate room. And they, one of the panelists sort of explained the significance of the award and gave us both packets. I was looking at this packet on my drive back down from Indianapolis. It said 2010 Rhodes Scholar elect materials. And I kept on glancing over at this thing thinking, this is me. <laughs> It's been, a, it's been like a family. Every time I go back, it feels like I'm coming home in many ways. My professors and mentors have been some of my, they've become some of my best friends, quite honestly, and I, I genuinely love a lot of them. And uh, they've just, uh, there have been so many people at this university who have stepped out for me without anything to gain from me. They've stepped out and they've been generous enough to, to recognize some potential in me and do their part to, uh, to make these dreams realities. I was a first generation college student. So college wasn't assumed, as it is in many families. Well, of course you're going to college. That wasn't the discussion of my family. It was whether or not you're going to college. And there was a lot of discouragement from the religious community that I grew up in. And there was also poverty. My, my father was a janitor as I grew up. Neither of my parents had graduated from high school. So I was a first generation college student from an undereducated part of our state and our country, growing up in a religious fundamentalist environment. So there were different factors, I guess you could say, working against me. But at the same time, I had a lot of support from my father and from my teachers and mentors within the community and here at UofL, certainly, when I came to Louisville. My father and I always had uh, an amazing relationship of mutual support. And I think it really speaks to um, par parents' role in directly, hands-on, raising their children to be defined by uh, opportunities and positive prospects rather than by fears. Parents have a choice to let their children leave and study abroad and read many different books and engage all different sorts of ideas and really think open-mindedly. There are no excuses for, um, for staying put and not performing. Being a first generation college student is not an excuse. Poverty is not an excuse. Religion is not an excuse. If you have the motivation and the drive and the curiosity, you can make your dreams happen. You can do it because there are networks here within our own state, here in Louisville. There are people waiting to help you, but you have to meet them halfway. So if you don't make any excuses for yourself and you jump out and you put yourself in the middle of that environment, there are channels, there are people to help you, and they can take you to the top.